Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And AT&T also launched C-Band today. And a lot of people are disappointed. They released a map with the metro areas that they have it launched in. And as you can see, it's only eight. So they don't have it at scale at all. And then it says even at the bottom, it says 5G plus with just a C-band available in limited parts of the select city. So even where it's launched in live now, it's only in select parts of the cities. So a lot of people are telling me it's very underwhelming, disappointed. They're clowns. What did they do all this time? And I want to say I tend to agree. They, they had an analyst day around the same time that, that Verizon had their analyst day. So they knew they were able to use the, they, that they were going to be able to use 40 megahertz of the A block. And Verizon got started out the gates. I was literally hearing like a day after that analyst day, Verizon was already starting to deploy C-band equipment. AT&T, very slow out the gates. Very, very slow. But to be honest with you guys, to no surprise, they told us they wouldn't have 70 to 75 million POPs, which stands for points of presence, covered until the end of this year. So they're moving at a much slower pace versus their competitors, comparatively speaking. Verizon launched today with more than 90 million. They'll be at 100 million by the end of the month. And then every month that goes by, they will add more, or every week, I should say, they will add more C-band sites into the network. T-Mobile, we already know they're at, they're at nationwide scale now. They announced recently at the beginning of the month that they're at 210 million. That's where they finished the end of 21. Now they're going to go 215, 220, 230. Who knows where they're going to be, you know, February, March. They're going to be at, at a massive scale. They're really pushing. T-Mobile is really pushing this as fast as they can. That I got to give them that. They have a desire to be a leader. Rather, they made a mistake and, and they should have used that $3 billion to maybe densify more that they spent in the auction. At least they bought additional spectrum. So they're, they're trying to, to show us and tell us that the actions speak for themselves and that they are willing and have the desire to try to be the leader in 5G. So there's several different uh, things we can speculate about as to why at t is so far behind right now on the scaling of this spectrum. Maybe they are waiting for dual band radios to come out so they can deploy C-band and DoD all in one swing. That's a possibility, but I have no concrete info right now as to when a dual band radio is going to come out from Ericsson or Nokia or both. I don't know if it's Q3. I don't know if it's Q, Q4, Q2 or next year. I, I don't know. So is at t willing to take the risk to wait and be at a, at a, at a lower scale? I, I think, I don't think that that's the right move. I think they should have deployed at a similar pace to Verizon. They should have been at 70, 75, maybe 90 million now as well and ready for launch at that scale. So now we have to we have to process and wait throughout this year to see what they're going to do with DoD. Are they going to scale that spectrum? Are they going to deploy C-band and DoD uh, radio separate if they can't get dual band radios in a timely manner? All questions that are up in the air that'll have to be answered by AT&T, whether they do it publicly or we see it through their deployment, one of the two. But I can tell you guys right now, it this is very underwhelming, but to no surprise, they told us it would happen this way. They would be at a lower scale, only at the end of the year, only 70, 75 million covered. Verizon's already there now, today. And we know T-Mobile is already at a far bigger scale. So again, we'll see where AT&T takes this. I, I don't quite understand what Stanky's deal is. Maybe they are waiting for the, the, the media spinoff to be complete. Again, that's another speculation. Maybe maybe after Warner Media is gone, maybe then they, they start exploding. Who knows? But we'll definitely keep track of everything. 
Keep you guys in the loop. Let me know how you think about this in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.